welcome dear students uh, welcome to nuclear physics lectures i'm dr Pravez Ahmed, and in this lectures uh, we will talk about uh, yakawa hypothesis of nucleons nucleons interactions uh, so let's start uh, today's lectures uh, with yakawa hypothesis of nuclear and nuclear interactions um, in 1934 uh, hadiki yakawa made the earliest attempt uh, to explain uh, the nature uh, of the uh, nuclear force. So what actually he suggests, uh, he suggests that uh, the massive bosons, uh, which he called the mesons, uh, mediates uh, the interactions between the two nucleons. I mean, this was the suggestion. This was the suggestions of the uh, Yakawa hypothesis, the main suggestions of the Yakawa hypothesis, in which he states that the massive bosons uh, and those more, uh, massive bosons, uh, Yakawa called them as uh, mesons. And he said that uh, these are basically uh, responsible for mediating the interactions uh, between uh, the nucleon. Uh, according to Yakawa, uh, the nuclear force uh, is the only uh, field force by uh, the hadrons. Similarly, uh, according to Hams, uh, the nuclear force uh, at that time was conceived to be transmitted by the particles called uh, mesons. I mean, uh, 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 this was according to a Yakawa hypothesis uh, in which he claimed that uh, this kind of force is uh, being transmitted by uh, the particles uh, and those particles he called, uh, he called them as uh, mesons. And uh, according to him, according to the Yakawa hypothesis or the meson theory, uh, as long as uh, this meson exchange can happen, uh, the strong force is able to hold the participating nucleons together. I mean, uh, this was uh, uh, I mean, the, the main thing, the main the ideas uh, that Yakawa presented at that particular time, saying this idea was widely being accepted at that particular time. So what was that? Uh, let me repeat it again, uh, according to Yawa, uh, Yakawa, uh, as long as uh, this meson exchange can happen, uh, the strong force is able to hold uh, the participating nucleons uh, together. In 1970, uh, further understanding revealed uh, these mesons are a combination of quark and gluons. I mean, uh, initially Yakawa, uh, in 1934, they given the concept of the mesons, uh, but these mesons were further being explained, further being studied in uh, 1970. So when they were being studied, uh, so the people or the scientists at uh, that particular time, they got more understanding of uh, these particles. And uh, according to those understanding, those knowledge, uh, it's been found that the mesons are combination of quartz and gluons. So what are gluons? As we already discussed in the previous lectures, uh, gluons are basically the particles uh, which hold cars together uh, with a force like that of the electric charge, but a far greater power. I mean, uh, this this was been the fact that been revealed in 1970s. That is, uh, I mean, first it was been uh, Reveal uh, first. Uh, I mean, after being studied by uh, many of the scientists working in this field, uh, first they reveal that mesons are combination of quartz and gluons, and then they uh, again further explain uh, what are gluons. So gluons uh, are basically the particles which hold cars together with the force like that of the electric charge, but the magnitude or the strength of that uh, charge, uh, strength of that force is far greater uh, and power than that of the uh, electromagnetic force. Uh, this more powerful force is mediated by the particle called uh, gluons. I mean, gluons uh, was first considered, I mean, uh, roles uh, have been, uh, uh, what you can call, uh, I mean, the, the roles, have been, roles have been assigned to the gluons. I mean, on one side, uh, gluons uh, have been claimed to hold the cars together inside uh, protons and neutrons uh, uh, and mesons. 
On the other side, sir, Gluon uh, has been nominated. Gluon has been framed uh, to be the particle uh, which has been uh, responsible for mediating the, the most powerful force uh, uh, among the cards. Uh, and it was being claimed that this keep the nucleus and the nucleus uh, packed and it's also known as the Mizan theory of the uh, nuclear force. I mean the, the Yakawa hypothesis, uh, I mean uh, the theory that's been developed after uh, later on in 1960 for explaining the, uh, the mesons and uh, uh, the combination of the cars, uh, the existence of the gluons and all these things uh, I mean, so these understandings were given the names of uh, Mizan theory of uh, nuclear forces. At the most fundamental levels, uh, I mean, especially for the people who have understanding of the nuclear physics, uh, the strong force is an exchange force between the quarks, and uh, this is being mediated by uh, the gluon. I mean, uh, uh, just like we mentioned on the previous slide, uh, the strong force is the most powerful force of all the forces that have been existed in the universe. And this force is an exchange force, an exchange force among the world, uh, among the, the particles that we call, uh, that we call the quarks. I mean, it is the kind of exchange force between the quarks, uh, but it's been mediated by the gluons. Uh, we can say that uh, it's been carried by the particles uh, that we call uh, gluons. So what it means, uh, it means that uh, quarks basically interact with each other by the exchange of the gluons. I mean, it's, uh, whenever we have two quarks, two or three quarks, so uh, how they interact, uh, they basically interact by uh, the exchange of the gluons. I mean, quarks can only interact so when they uh, mutually, uh, uh, I mean, uh, they, they exchange the quarks uh, and between them. So, uh, Feynman diagrams, uh, uh, Feynman diagrams and wall uh, change in color and can take the form, uh, the one you can see it here. I mean, it's a, it's a Feynman diagram uh, for the interactions of the quarks. So, here you can see it here. I mean, how the interaction can uh, take place. I mean, these interactions uh, we can explain further in this lecture. Uh, so, in this particular slide, you should uh, just have uh, uh, just have to have a clear look uh, on how uh, we have the cars and how uh, these cars uh, they have the interactions with uh, the gluons. So, let's discuss this diagram. At the gluons, according to diagram we have on the previous slide. Uh, the blue ones are carry the colored charge and therefore the emerging quarks uh, will not have the same colors as the entering quarks. I mean this is uh, you have already observed here you can see here is the entering quark uh, is the emerging uh, the emerging quark uh, the emerging quarks. So here we are saying that uh, the the blue ones uh, the blue ones. Uh, the blue ones carry the colored charge and therefore the emerging quarks will not have the same color as uh, the entering uh, quarks. And this process is very different from the electromagnetic force. Why is different? Uh, because the photon as the exchange particle for the force between the charges does not itself carry charge. I mean, uh, that's why we are saying that uh, this process, uh, uh, I mean, it's different from the electromagnetic force. Uh, and we, we also mentioned the reasons here that why this process is different. Uh, why this process, uh, this process is different from the electromagnetic force? Because there we are saying that in case of the electromagnetic force, uh, the photon as exchange particles, I mean, there we have photon as exchange particles. Uh, and so we're saying that, uh, the force uh, between the charges does not itself carry a charge uh, and that is in the case of electromagnetic force uh, which is not here in the case of the uh, nuclear force. So an interaction between the cars could be uh, represented uh, in the form like here. I mean this is uh, the main diagrams 
I mean, it's uh, for the interaction between the cars. It should be represented like this. I mean, here you can see it here. Uh, we have the cars, the emerging cars, the entering cars, and the emerging cars. Uh, I mean, here you can see it here. Uh, the emerging is uh, green, and uh, uh, the entering is green, and the emerging is blue. And here we say that the the entering is blue, the emerging is green, and their interaction is uh, we are green anti blue uh, gluon. So this is how gluon mediated interaction between the uh, two cogs. Uh, it should be remembered that the interaction is responsible for combining cards together uh, into mesons and baryons. I mean, this, this, this should be the fact uh, that every uh, person working uh, are studying the nuclear physics that should uh, remember this fact. And they should also remember uh, that for holding protons and neutrons together in the nuclei. I mean, what should always keep in mind that uh, the interactions is responsible uh, for binding the cards together into mesons and uh, baryons and for holding protons and neutrons together in the nuclei. I mean, this is the well known fact that cores interact only uh, with the help of the gluon, that is, when they exchange the gluon. So, uh, that exchange of gluon is responsible for the interactions among the cores. And we remember that uh, these interactions uh, are these gluons are being responsible for holding protons and neutrons uh, together and the uh, uh, together in the nuclei. So uh, here you can have a look on the cars, cars combinations in the form of what? Uh, in the form of uh, protons and neutrons. That is uh, when we have uh, uh, combinations of two uh, up cars and one down cars. So this combination results in the formation of the, the proton. Here in this particular diagram, uh, I mean, uh, uh, the same diagram with the individual cores uh, constituent uh, shows that uh, I mean it's, it's have been shown that this, this particular combination of the cores uh, I mean for uh, protons and the neutrons are being shown in here. Uh, I mean it's also shown that uh, the, the fundamental strong interaction gave rise to uh, the nuclear force. So here in this particular diagram the straight lines I mean these straight lines here you can see it these straight lines, uh, they are basically uh, uh, for the cars. I mean, these straight lines, they, they represent the cars. While the multicolor, uh, multicolor loop, I mean, here you can see it here. These are the multicolor loop. These multicolor loop here. And also here, these multicolor uh, loop, uh, uh, they are basically uh, what they are, the glue ones. Uh, which are the carriers of the uh, fundamental forces. So the strong interaction gave rise to uh, the strong interaction gave rise to the uh, nuclear force, while uh, the gluons are basically the carriers of the uh, fundamental forces. So uh, that's all uh, we have for uh, Yakawa hypothesis. Uh, see you for more details about uh, I mean uh, the mesons or pions. Uh, and uh, other lectures. So tell them bye bye.